Evening all, it's Wednesday evening, the 8th of November. My birthday is tomorrow. I turn 35, 34 rather, not 35. Jesus, I'll put an extra year on myself. It's because I was thinking of um, Cat's Custom Trike's birthday, which is on Saturday, and she's almost a year older, exactly. I guess I'm technically a year and... A year and two days younger. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, I have had a busy past week and it actually looks like we might get a frost tonight. It looks like I might need to clean my lens down again. It's a bit better. Yeah, I wanted to... Uh, Build taller tables, so I built taller tables. <laughs> Three foot tall, plus the little bit for the ply top. <sighs> all from wood that was going to be thrown out on a building site. I ain't kidding, all this wood was going to be thrown out on a building site. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. So, uh, my stepdad got friendly with uh, one of the lads that worked there and uh, he kept dropping off random lengths of 2x2 two two and this 2x1 and applying all bloody sorts that were just going to get skipped because uh, the thing is these are used to make the 2x2 two two lengths are used to make a partition wall like this that's not a brick wall there that's a a rock wall, a dry wall, plasterboard wall, whatever you want to call it. So it's got a... Well actually this building is quite old so I don't know if they're going to use 2x2 um, two two in there but it's got a wooden framework and uh, then it has to plasterboard or whatever put on top with a skim of plaster. <clears throat> That's what this stuff is for so if, it, if it's bowed like that they can't use it. So it just goes in a skip. The same with these bits, which they use on um, roofs. That's the batten that they put the tiles on and whatnot. Now if that's damaged or warped or anything, they can't use it. So uh, it's the same with ply board like this, you know. If there's a, a corner damaged or something, they won't use it. They'll chuck out the whole sheet. I ain't kidding. <laughs> so uh, it pays. If you live near a building site, it pays to just go and ask. You never know. You know? I suppose it all it depends on who you talk to and how friendly the site foreman is. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the worst they're going to say is no. So, uh, to me, it's always worth just uh, asking if you can. And save yourself some money. Because if I weren't for that, I wouldn't have these tables, because I wouldn't be able to afford all the wood. I mean, in materials alone, I would have needed... I'm just thinking... Um, a good 150 quid's worth of wood here to build this, give or take. I know... Or it used to be in town, a length of... Um, 2x2, two two. I can't remember what the length is now. I think it's something like 12 foot. Uh, it was about 15, 20 quid. Something like that. And I would have needed at least... Just trying to think how many we cut up. At least five lengths I would have needed at that. So that's 100 odd quid there. Alone. So maybe a bit more than 150 quid, maybe closer to 200 quid. Just in the, you know, in the building materials. The building materials. I still haven't put them extra bloody screws in the table. <sighs> I'm meaning to do that for ages. The only adjustment I've got to make is this table, it's too low needs to be higher. I didn't think it would be too low, but it is. 
but that's no biggie. I can make a new table for that. Not a problem. But uh, yeah, everything works. Trains go around the track. That one is still becoming rather temperamental at times. Just doing my editing. <clears throat> I think it's the controller. I might get another controller and, and uh, see if it's that. It's either the controller or the receiver on the locomotive itself. But the controllers, I can't actually find it, it's that one. They're not very expensive anyway, so I'm going to start with that. In fact, I could probably pick one of those up cheaper than the infrared receiver that goes in there. So I'm going to try the controller first. I'll do that probably next year. Looking at these antacids down here, I am actually going to grab one. I've had that fish and the tomato ketchup, now I'll be a bloody heartburn. Not bad, but uh, I don't think last night's escapade, escapade helped either. I had another one of those bloody s sort of spells, if you that's the best way I can describe them. You just swung your paw at me, I saw that. I saw him go like that with his paw because I was waving my arm around like this talking to you. I don't think it was actually, it might have been just visible on camera. <laughs> you didn't think I saw that, did you? I saw that paw. Right. I keep thinking I've got phone bill to pay, but I don't actually want to pay it because it's my birthday tomorrow. But at the same time, I've got nothing to sell to make up for not paying it because I'd have a week to pay it so I've got to pay it, you know why. It just sucks. <laughs> Mind you I have bought myself two um, Build-A-Bear plushies. One's a My Little Pony plushie, one isn't. That's why I came in the bedroom by the way, I want to show you that, see. Got me blue lights up on the shelf and I got me radios all sorted out up there as well. Giving me a bit more room under here and it looks better. I've also got the, uh, some room under the bed. I was going to finish it by uh, putting the rest of my tools in the toolbox last night and tucking that under the bed. But yeah, like I said, I had that, that uh, one of those darn spells and... Uh, I ended up laying in bed for a couple of hours. Yeah. What shall I do with this? It's a stand for a Dremel multi-tool. You know, you put your Dremel in here. I suppose similar brands would work, but this is actually for a Dremel. You know, and it can be used as a drill press, like a mini drill press. Or you can, you know, just have it in there so you can use your hands to hold whatever it is you want to cut down, grind down, sand down, whatever your little projects but um, I've not used it not yet um, part of me wanted to get rid of it part of me doesn't especially as I found out I can do that and I use it as a like a mini drill press for projects which uh, as I do have some projects that might actually come in useful, so I may find somewhere else because it was taking up room in there, and my shirt, t-shirts kept scraping on here and uh, getting covered in sawdust. That's why I took it out. Hmm. I think I am leaning towards keeping that. Now I need to also decide what I'm going to do with these drawers. Do I just get rid of them? all together and get my stepdad to make something that I can put in there um, perhaps with cupboard doors on it or something or 
convert this into shelving, you know, all I've got to do is basically take these drawers out and dump them and uh, cut a couple of bits of wood. I can do that at Stepdad's, he's probably got the wood there. And I just put them in a shelves, you know, a couple of shelves. I actually like that idea, to be honest. Hmm. I do like that idea. I do like the idea of getting rid of it. I've just got a bunch of stuff in this, especially this middle drawer. CD shouldn't be a problem. I should be able to find somewhere to put those. That's what's mostly in here, apart from that charger. Might be something I'll put on eBay, actually. But as you can tell, the draw runners are absolutely buggered. This what this one's actually fallen off. It's rudder runners rudders. Boats have rudders. Drawers have runners. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that one's totally fallen off, and one of them is actually broken off completely on that bottom shelf. It's not actually on the runners. So. Uh, I suppose I should start by emptying it. How deep is it? <laughs> I think it's safe. It was uh, if these shelf fronts were deep enough, I'd have just trimmed those down and plonked those in for shelves. But they're not actually that deep. I'd want to go the full depth of the cabinet because the cabinet itself is good. It's not warped. It's not rickety or anything. It's just the shelves that have gone kaput, basically. I mean. I could probably split this board straight in half and get two shelves out of there. Possibly. I'm going to get a tape measure and just check that. I'm not going to remember, remember where my tape measures are. I should have three of them up here somewhere. An orange one, a white one and a black and yellow one. Oh, there's the white one. I got the white one. This one's going to be awkward because it doesn't have a lock mechanism on it. <laughs> right. I mean, that's actually got a solid board on the back like this. I've just realised I'm going to. It's no good measuring on the top, is it? Because I've got that thick board. It's not a thin piece of the, you know, sort of like the cardboardy stuff they put on the back of cheap furniture. It's a proper board. Same stuff as this at the front and on the top, so I need to measure from the inside, don't I? Oh, uh, excuse me. All right, then I'll do that later. Oh, look what I found as well another 7 volt adapter. And you probably have no idea why that's uh, such a good find because I haven't shown you this yet, have I? <laughs> My new torch. I bought two of these, right. From a charity shop, £1.20. I may have mentioned this in a video, I can't remember. I've tried to make this video so many times. <laughs> it works, but it didn't come with a charger. Neither of them did. The other one was just beyond economical repair, basically. The battery was a 6 volt lead acid, but it wasn't the ordinary sized one like this. If I took a saw and cut the battery square down here, roughly, and across the top, everything to the red mark, this side basically, this terminal, um, would be the size of the battery that was in here. It's a very, very small 6 volt battery. And uh, it leaked, corroded both wires off the battery terminals. The bulb had also blown, it also leaked inside and done some damage, so it broke it up for parts. I did keep the little circuit that was in here, so I actually used that to charge those two batteries. But yeah, I've, this has been holding a charge now for uh, over a week. I think it's gone dim a little bit, but I have been turning it on and off like this. <laughs> so, 
That was a good buy for £1.20. I don't know where my circuit has gone. I had a bit of a clean up because it was laying on here, but I had a bit of a clean up. I need to get my soldering iron heated up and uh, see what parts I can salvage off of these. Bloody circuit boards. Oh, pardon me. Deary me. <laughs> Right, I swore I saw Nemo up that end. He's disappeared now. Oh. My local Sainsbury's has slightly annoyed me. It's not a big deal, but it's just annoying. I've got to have specific foods because I can't have lactose and I can't have gluten. And actually it seems like I can't have a lot of things because of my guts. Throwing a wobbly at times. Anyway. There's a specific gluten free cereal that I've been eating. Like chocolate star things. Absolutely yummy. Love them. Those with a bit of the lacto free milk I have. Or even soya milk. That's actually quite nice. <laughs> um... Is what I've been having, but for the past two weeks, I haven't, because I haven't had the cereal in stock. Now you might be thinking, well, if it hasn't been in stock for two weeks, maybe they're stopping it or something. But uh, the little price tag is still on the shelf, and yes, I've got a couple of other options of cereal there, but the gap between the other cereals for this specific one that I like. It's still there. It's all still set up there as if they're going to restock the shelf. That's how it's been for two weeks. Nothing's been moved, nothing's been changed. So I don't know if they're having trouble getting a supply in or if maybe because they've just opened up an Argos store. I think that's on my uh, screen. There's a mark right there. But I do believe it's actually on my um, LCD screen, not the lens. You know, I've just opened up an Argos store within Sainsbury's, because Sainsbury's owns Argos. So, Sainsbury staff not only get a discount from the actual Sainsbury stores, they also get it from Argos. Lucky them. <laughs> you know, my um, dad's girlfriend works in Sainsbury's. So uh, they get the discounts as well. Lucky them. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, it's annoying. I mean, ordinarily, apart from prices being a little bit high on certain things, but that's just my opinion, I, I can't fault the store. I'm not just saying that because I know people who work there. I I really can't. The staff are brilliant. Even in my local one, the staff are brilliant. I can't speak for other stores, but for mine, the staff are great. Is there anything else I want to... Oh, I can't bloody remember. I didn't get up until gone 11. <laughs> Because, uh, tried to sleep, didn't fall asleep until sort of three o'clock in the morning, again, I don't know why, woke up about eight o'clock with a splitting headache, so I took some pills, let them kick in, and then I went back to sleep and just didn't get up until about eleven. <laughs> Anywho, I was thinking of actually showing you those two plushies I bought, but nah. I know two of my viewers, two of my viewers and friends already know, because actually no, one doesn't. <laughs> I've just realised I haven't told him yet. One of my viewers and friends knows. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to wait until um, they arrive and I'll unbox them. I'll do an unboxing video.
they were used. Like I said, one's not a My Little Pony plushie, it's just... I just thought it was cute and it was from the same seller and uh, I am looking to bid on two more My Little Pony plushies. I would have won three from the same seller. But my fucking Firefox decided to spaz out just as I put the bid in in the last ten seconds. So the bid didn't go through. They didn't sell the plushie either, they've relisted it, so I'm watching it again. It ends on Sunday along with the other one I'm watching, so... I'm going to keep some cash in my bank. And uh, hopefully I will get those. Sod off, you stupid thing. Right. Is there anything else I can think of? Not at this moment. <laughs> no. For some reason I've got light streaks going right across my screen. Have I actually got that much of a dirty lens? <laughs> How's that? Yeah, a little bit better. It was a bit better when I stand here like this, isn't it? Right. I may have to rebuild some vehicles for this town. I've just realised. On the count of, by the time I actually take what I want off my display shelves, I'm probably going to have a lot of room. That's why a lot of my Lego vehicles are actually on display, because a lot of them will go in the town. Eventually. Ugh, I need some stuff to make some more streetlights with as well. Well, I want a specific style up where the houses are. I'm going to go for this style around here so either way I need uh, a few more bits. Sure I've got a few extras kicking around I just can't remember where I laid them. They could be in the big transparent tub under my table. They could one of these days I'll fix this one. It got knocked over and I just haven't rebuilt the cab yet. Or the rear end to be honest, I haven't done either. <laughs> right. Now they're not laying up here. I don't think, no. No. I think there's only one box they might be in. And if it's not in there, then I'm going to have to have a rummage through. I'm sure I kept them to one side because I thought I'll need those to make street lights. I can hear Nemo doing something through there, and I haven't got a bloody clue what he's doing. I can just hear lots of noise. Shall we go see if we can find him? He's gone quiet now. Right. That's it for this little vlog. I'm going to end it there and I'm going to get this uploaded. So thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you all fairly soon. Bye.
This is in the field next door to our farm. I've just had two nervous breakdowns. <laughs> While he's doing that, I'll, I'll introduce everybody. This is Charlie. Hi. This is Carl. Hello. This is Claire. Uh, yes, this is. This is Dewey's boyfriend. <laughs> That's him. That's Alexander, by the way. You haven't seen him for a while, have you? Uh-huh. And there's Bob Shite. Miss Rasheen. <laughs> this is Sarah, my neighbour. She's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Too. This is Ian, her husband. Hello. This is Scott Australia, by the way. Oh, all right, nice. This is Andrew. Hello there. How's we have going? two Andrews. This is Melissa. Andrews. This is Sarah's sister. Hello, I'm Sarah's sister. Hasn't, hasn't quite got used to me yet. And this is Rachel, who is Jake's girlfriend, who is there. <laughs> and oh, Jake, is also my colleague. Yes, I know. <laughs> Thank you. 